Okay guys, it's official parade day. Good morning, Oliver. So me and Becker are out here, JR's on his way. And first thing is we're gonna get his mane and tail all braided and his ribbons in. And Becca's gonna do that because I attempted and failed. <laughs> Becca's better at it. She's Oliver's official hairdresser. Ready, bud? Look at that. Nice and clean. So the parade started at 11, but we had to get there a little bit early because we had to get in the parade lineup, which was from 9.30 to 10.30, I believe. Uh, so we were up before 6, um, out in the barn, well, well before 7, uh, braiding Oliver's mane and tail. We decided to do it before we left uh, instead of when we got there because we didn't really know what it would be like once we were there. Well, you just tell them what you're doing, Becca. I don't know what I'm doing. I just learned how to do it yesterday. You get two two hair braids and then alternate the two. So what I'm doing, I guess, is I'm taking two pieces of hair. After every twist, I add some more hair at the end. What do you mean twist? I'm about to show them. So okay. then I take, once I get it where I got one piece coming this way to the left with, with extra hair from the rest of the mane, then the oh, last God. piece going that way, I cross the ribbons over his mane, right in between those two pieces. Oh, both ribbons at mm -hmm. the same time. Pull okay. them. But opposite sides of the neck. Yeah. Okay. Pull them tight, kind of. Don't touch it. It's fine. And then I just twist his mane around them. The, twist those two. Okay, cool, cool. And, and then I got to try to make sure that the hair lays down in the center of the two two ribbons awesome Ooh, bud Ooh. oh it looks so pretty becca good job let me get up closer wow becca i'm officially fired becca beat me first time ever doing a main roll i practiced once last night figured out <laughs> But yeah, but I showed them when I practiced once and it was way beautiful. worse. Beautiful. <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs> this is why I wear my hat that says bad hair day don't care. I might have to get Oliver one when I do his hair. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is I can't do my own hair to save my life, but I can kind of manage horses hair. She's good at horses. Yep. I cannot do my own hair. I have no clue how to do a tail ro roll and I never looked at videos or anything. So I'm just going to kind of braid it and wrap it up and hopefully it stays today. Yeah. But we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. So don't judge for all you Clydesdale people. <laughs> and for anyone that isn't a Clydesdale person, don't take my advice on this. This is just how I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. I'm braiding it upside down. Hmm. She braided up to the bottom of his tailbone, I guess. Okay, so she's got the bun all done. And when we get there, uh, we'll put the bow on. We're gonna wait till we get there so it doesn't fall off. Good job, Becca. Okay, so we're putting this hook black on his feet to make his feet nice and black and shiny. So what we did, because he got all his feathers, we don't want to get in his feathers, we cut a sleeve off of a hoodie, <laughs> and um, an old junkie hoodie, and we're pulling it up over his hoof to hold the feathers up while I made this too close to black. Everyone's got, already black. I already got one black. I know everybody's anxious to get to the parade, but I just had to put all of this in because you have to note that this is all new to Oliver. He's never had the hoof black on or the sleeves put on his leg. He's only had his mane and tail uh, braided uh, twice before this, uh, and he's just doing amazing. He's standing so still, letting Becca crawl all over behind him and all around his legs, and he's just such a gentle boy. Okay. Okay. He's all done. Get back and come behind him. Time to load them up. Okay, we just got here and we're unloading everything, getting it all set up. While JR and Isaac unloaded the trailer, Becca started putting the bows in Oliver's tail and mane. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> it looks awesome. Do you oh. want to zip tie it on? 
No, it'll stay. It's it'll tight. stay. Good job, Becca. That's Becca, really the professional cute. horse hair. Dog. Yeah. He looks really good. He looks very handsome. Oliver's all decked out. It is. Oh well, I guess I don't. That's about as good as we can do. It looks pretty cute, I think. <laughs> good job, Becca. We found out that when Oliver bends his neck after the mane rolls in, it kind of pulls it out really loose. But we decided just to leave it how it was because we weren't sure how much time we had. Plus, we just wanted him to be able to relax. And it still looks pretty cute, especially for our first try. And then here's the wagon. We decorated it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. That's Believe what. Believe it or not, we didn't hire a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Would you quit it? It's Homestead Horsemanship Homemade. <laughs> and then we put our um, 100,000 subscriber plaque on the back. Well, That's just a little cringy. <laughs> here's the other side. We should show them the undercarriage paint job that Daddy did. <laughs> well, we'll have to do a professional paint job later on, but that's the best we could do right now. <laughs> you can kind of tell what Isaac thinks of the wagon. Uh, maybe in the comments, let us know what you think. Definitely was all done just by hand. We'll probably do a more professional job later on. Okay, so we're going to go on a test ride, see how Oliver does before lineup, before the parade lineup. So far, he's very calm, but me and Jared are very nervous. <laughs> Wait. Good. He's calm at least. Yeah, he's calm. JR's not. Walk up, bud. Walk. So Becca and Lisa are going to meet us over there at the parade lineup. I don't think I've ever been so nervous in my life. <laughs> are you nervous, Isaac? No. no. Good boy. Oh. Oh. Okay, get up. You're doing good, buddy. Walk up. This is really only Oliver's second time in town. Uh, the first time he went to town, you can check out that video. It's called Oliver Goes to Dollar General. Get up. Did, did Becca get a lead rope? Yeah. yeah. Get up, bud. Can we fit between them? Uh -uh. Hey, would you, one of you mind moving one of them cones for me? What? <laughs> the cone that's right in front of me, yeah. One. Just one. Okay, walk. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, he knows. Oliver, trot. We got Isaac in the back with the candy. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Oh. Oh. Oh. oh. Oliver's got a red light. Stand there, bud. Stand. He's already used to letting one car go and then going. Good boy. Stand there. Stand. Walk up. Trot. Oliver, trot. Trot. Oliver, trot. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, Oliver. Boy, I bet I can go through that alleyway. Walk up. Let's go through to the next street. So we have a map of where we're supposed to be staging for the parade and this part of the town is closed down so what I'm doing is trying to find my way around wait. to get to the area where we were wait. told to wait for the parade wait. to start. Walk up. Good boy. Walk up. Walk. Get up. Good boy, bud. I meant to tell you to bring your phone, buddy, so you could... I got mine. I, well, I guess I have mine, too, though. Okay, this is where I expected to need to be. So the parade lineup was all down the street. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so it was a little difficult finding the spot exactly where we were supposed to be. But this oh. was kind of the general area where we needed to wait. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? We got in the parade lineup fairly early and there wasn't too much going on yet. Not too many floats. It wasn't too crowded or loud. So that was good for Oliver. He got to adjust slowly that way. It wasn't long until things started picking up though. And when the high school marching band came by, I think that was probably the most of a reaction that we got out of Oliver. Okay, here comes the high school band. So we're gonna see how Oliver reacts. Oh my goodness. the kids. I know, I was about to bulldoze them because <laughs> they weren't watching. <laughs> yeah. he, did, he did pretty good. He's never seen that before. As you could tell, Oliver did not really love the marching band. He was kind of okay until he saw them, you know, moving the trumpets. But what really got him was the drum beat, which I can't blame him. Once it got closer, it was pretty intense. On the video, you can't tell how loud it was. So he really did not appreciate that. Uh, but overall, uh, he did really good calming down right away and everything. So we're pretty proud of our boy. After that, it was just a lot of standing around for Oliver, and he actually had quite a few fans come up and say hello. And his favorite are the little kids by far. He was so sweet and gentle with them. Of course, he was gentle with everyone, but with the little ones, you could kind of see in his eyes, he understood, and he would lower his head for them. It was really sweet. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> He likes 
likes your pants. That's <laughs> what so he's interested in. <laughs> yeah, he said he was looking for Yeah, he was. <laughs> so Oliver was pretty popular at the parade with all the little kids, and he actually had some fans travel from out of state to meet him. Why are you here? I was sick in bed last August, and I stumbled on your channel. And had to go backwards through the videos because you got him one in April or March or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think he's going to be a good horse. This is unbelievable. I'm videotaping. You want to be on the channel? So, and I got to tell you, this girl is a quality. Yeah, she's a great horse trainer. Wow, I'm so impressed with you. Aww. You were sick, and that's when you came. Yeah. And I was like, well, this is I wonder if he's gonna make it, you know. Aww, and then by, by that time, you some weight was coming on. Do you Look guys want boy. your picture with your phone? We can take it. Okay, so just like do, that. I, do I win the award for like the the most farthest, miles? Yeah, the far the farthest. <laughs> do I <laughs> travel to see him? But you'd be surprised. They were from like, Wisconsin. So we're getting to the point where pretty much anywhere we go, horse related, people will recognize well, they, us. Well, yeah. Come up. Yeah, yeah. You made a hundred k like by Christmas or whatever. Yeah. Just wanted to point out everybody's coming by and and you know petting him, but look at his back leg. He has it had it cocked. The entire time because he's not even nervous even a little bit about this and that's just how horses rest when they're in a relaxed state mm -hmm. oliver's falling asleep this just shows also how relaxed oliver was he's falling asleep here with his head on beckett it was so sweet um <laughs> can't really blame him though we have been standing around for a couple hours before the parade uh, got going and started Okay, so we're gonna head out in just a minute here. How do you think Oliver's doing? He's doing great. He's being very patient and uh, he's been calm about everything but the drums so far. Yeah, he didn't like the, the band, the high school band with the drums. Before the parade begins, we want to make sure to say a few thank yous. Somebody sent us a giant box of candy for the parade. Uh, that was so cool. We didn't even have to buy any. The box was so big. Somebody also sent JR uh, this really cool t-shirt, which suited him perfectly. And we don't know who sent these items. So whoever it was, thank you very much. And then we have to say thank you to Oliver's pooper scoopers who followed him around just in case there was an accident. And then most of all, we have to say thank you to uh, Lisa, my sister-in-law. This is JR's sister. She has always loved and adored Oliver and has really helped us out. She's probably not going to be very happy that I added these photos in here, but we appreciate her so much. And she's going to be helping me film today. So thank you so much, Lisa. And then I know a lot of you are going to be asking where our oldest daughter Mary is and unfortunately she had to work and she couldn't make it. We were so bummed out, so sad. We really missed having her with us. Okay, here we go guys. Good boy, Oliver. Oh. Oh, bud. Okay, baby. Stay back, hon. So this is the beginning of the parade where it first starts and as you can see there are quite a few people there. The crowd was pretty big. We have been to this parade but it was years ago, like 17 years ago when our kids were little and uh, the crowd is a little different uh, it seems like than it used to be. A little bit more rowdy uh, and we were kind of taken aback and a little bit surprised at just the noise that they were making. But as you can see, and you probably guessed, Oliver is taking it like a pro. There are estimated to be 40,000 people at this parade, whether that's accurate or not. That's a lot of people. And from what I was told, it's actually one of the biggest parades in the Midwest.
that's a good boy. He is, yeah. I think I'm panicking more than him. Definitely. We were just so impressed with how Oliver handled himself. It was just so loud. The cameras aren't even doing it justice how loud it was. You could hardly hear yourself think, and JR was pretty sure that Oliver couldn't hear him. He was just going off of the cues of the reins. Watch how easy he walks forward when I ask. Walk. Walk. One of the most impressive things about his behavior and his overall performance is during the filming of this video, he was still just a two-year-old, although he will be turning three within the next month. From the start of the parade to the end, it probably was about 30-ish minutes. I actually didn't time it, so I don't know for sure, but Oliver never once jumped or spooked or did anything wrong. Okay. Oh boy, guys, that's the end, I think. Whew, that was a good one-time experience. Yeah, one time, never again. Yeah. I am glad it's over. <laughs> Out of candy? Pretty much. I just got a bunch of stuff I dropped. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. What do you think, Jar? That's just a big stress relief to be done. Yeah. That's a lot of lot of risk. Um, I mean, I had faith in him, but you never know till you're actually there and how it's actually going to feel. I he think did yeah. A plus though on him. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think from now on, if we ever would do another parade, it would be our little hometown yeah, little tiny new, yeah, not new a big bird city parade. parade. Never again that big. Yep. Whew. Oh my gosh. Had a lot of comments and messages to us yelling at me for taking a horse into a that young into a parade but I had a lot of faith in Oliver and the work we've done with him and uh, he did very I very think good he just proved that for you <laughs> although we have all known Oliver is very special I think he just proved himself at this parade on a different level at least to me and JR he did uh, he's a very special horse and we couldn't be more proud of him. Once we got home, we got him a good meal and he got his tummy full and then he spent the rest of the afternoon just laying around in the sunshine and relaxing. <laughs>